What's going on vlog? Welcome to week six. Jeffrey Jensen here. Super excited to be back in the office filming somewhere that is familiar and comfortable. And uh, yeah, super excited for this week's episode. Got a great one for you guys. Had my two week post-op doctor's appointment with Dr. Cranford as well as a friend come into town to film. So lots of fun and exciting and uh, honestly funny content in this one. So Real quick, before we roll that footage, make sure you like this video, please subscribe to the channel, and turn on that notification bell. That way you know when we post a new video, and uh, honestly, it just helps grow the channel, and um, we want to impact as many people as possible. So, hopefully you guys enjoy this episode, and uh, let's get into it. Besides last Sunday night, when the poop wouldn't come out, uh, and we yeah. had to do a fleet enema at yeah. 3 a.m. <laughs> Besides that, fantastic. This side's snapping back. Okay, it's coming. It, it, but you see how it's softening up and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I've had two massages already. Yeah. Um, I had uh, Dude, this is great. one yesterday and one the day before the lymphatic massages. Probably to take this up a little bit because we're chasing that dog ear, mm -hmm. so it's a little uneven, but it's going to be better than having like a, a right. pooch out here. Yeah. So it's good. Oh, I have a belly button. Yeah. It's good. Too. A belly button. Yeah. Can we start using the belly button for? I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Start using the belly button. How's, how's this going to come off right now? You're about to pull this off. Yeah, it's going to be fine. It's not going to hurt. No. Because she pulled paper tape off me earlier and it did a little deep breath. Deep breath. Are you feeling good? Look, it's going off well. You're doing great. Crushing it. Look at that. Not you nearly about as that. bad as I thought it would be. But we, they also that. shaved you there too. So it's yeah, like, we, yeah, we should, yeah. I appreciate that. Well, it just, it just, it's going to hide. You know, it's going to be fine. Dude, you crushed it. Oh, this one's going to feel weird. This one's bouncing back better. You know, this is a bigger side. Yeah. But you, I'm sure you can already tell how it's like. Yeah. Softening up. It yeah. was probably it was rock hard. And, and it was good because I noticed a huge improvement. So when we got home, I was like back to like 220. Yeah. And then I had, I mean, my hips must have been this way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like and then I had a lymphatic massage on Saturday. Yeah. And then yesterday, and I'm back to 206. Yeah. Like, I mean, I start, I was just draining so much stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah, I would, because you can see your chest. Yeah. And, and, and that makes me know I got to work on my lower chest now a lot. Yeah. I mean, the big thing, the interest, or the thing that we're going to have to see is, you know, your nipples should be here. Right. Ideally, right? And so it's just going to, what, what we should do is just let everything soften up. And then we might be able to get away with doing just an incision like around the nipple. Yeah. And just like the cut of, of the, the of apex. The or, okay. Yeah. And so yours is just like a little low. Yeah. But, Which I don't even care about that as long as we get rid of the. Yeah. Flat. And this, I, I got a feeling that because there's not soften? a lot of fat that this will soften. Um, and this is just it's just full of fluid and stuff right now. Right. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you: If we did have to do that, what is something like that? Entail. I mean, it wouldn't be. We could honestly probably do that awake. You know, because I, I can. can well, <laughs> I, I we should. What? <laughs> can he have a say? couple of dollars? Uh, uh, this one. This one. Honestly, this won't be too expensive. A couple thousand bucks or something. Okay. okay. Like, like, well, we'll it's just it's just going to depend on how this softens slash retracts. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But you think even just like give it time, bent, start to I, lift again. I would give it as much time as possible. Yeah, we got till next June. Yeah, so. I would give as much time because the further we get out, this is going to soften up, soften up, soften up. Okay. But man, you know those breasts, those things are huge. No, it's crazy. I mean, they're this big. I know. Oh, I couldn't so do crazy. that. That's crazy to think that that was just tissue too, not even some Yeah, I think that. that one still has a suture in it. Oh, it does. Okay. <clears throat> And same thing. You can massage these. This is going to sting a little bit. Does this side have one too? Let's check that side and then I want him to look and make sure he sees your um, leg too. I think you're good there. Oh, my leg? Your drain incision from here. Just to let him see yeah, that. That's fine. Okay, I've just been putting like oh. some. Um, Vaseline or yes. something? Yeah, that's fine. Or you, you, can even, you can even cut a little piece of the scar tape and put it there. Okay. Or you can use the scar cream you use here from there. That looks really good. That's crazy how small that is. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's gonna look good, man. Yeah, and so the three week mark, cardiovascular exercise. So this week still. In the you can walk and stuff. I just don't want you getting your heart rate up. You know, over a hundred, okay. sweating, blood pressure up, that kind of thing. So it's still inside. Just yeah, exactly. Because I can walk standing up straight. You can walk standing up straight. Okay. And then, because we don't want to get your heart rate up, blood pressure up, and cause bleeding or anything. Gotcha. Yep. Yeah. And then, um, what else? Um, the big. You know, where you're going to be able to do everything is at like a six week mark. Okay, so four weeks from now. We'll bring you back then. So I'll come back at six weeks. Yeah. Well, let's do this. Let's bring you back. So at six weeks from surgery, so four weeks from now, you can do anything you want to. So, but I don't want to see you back till like that eight week mark. Because it won't be, you know, if we get to the two month mark, we'll have a better idea of how everything's healing. Okay. Okay. Just left a follow up appointment here in Charleston at Dr. Cranford's office and uh, went very very well so super happy with um, all of the uh, things that he said I'm looking really good my incision line um, looks crazy honestly it's way smaller than I anticipated um, and my chest is starting to bounce back and worst case scenario um, he said even if my chest does not completely bounce back and he has to go back in he's very confident that he could probably just go around my nipple and pull the skin back in that way so I really wouldn't have too much of a scar. Um, so that's super encouraging. He also um, told me I can start walking normal today. So that is super helpful because I think the biggest issue with having um, a tummy tuck and then combining that with lower back lipo and then even the chest is the fact that when you have to walk around, you have to walk hunched over and I don't know if you've ever done that without having surgery, but even just staying in a hunched position, like when you're super strong and healthy, is terrible on your back. Um, and so that's been honestly the worst part and the most pain has been walking that way. Um, and then he also cleared me to sleep lying flat, which is like huge because I've been sleeping reclined for the last two weeks. And honestly, I've gotten terrible sleep, my whoop recovery has been awful and so just having the ability to sleep flat tonight is going to be fantastic so and lauren i get to sleep in the bed gets to sleep in the bed tonight with me with so Hank for two weeks that's super awesome and uh yeah i have one more week of no exercise um and then starting week four i can start to do cardiovascular things like walking light biking stuff like that um, and then he did say I could start to do a little bit of light, you know, buys and tries. Um, nothing with my chest, nothing shoulders, no push-pull exercises, unfortunately. Um, he needs me to wait until the six-week mark to do that. And once I hit six weeks, we're, uh, we're good to go. So four more weeks of pretty much taking it super easy. Uh, starting in a week, I can start doing cardio. And then when the six-week mark hits, I actually am starting phase three of Live Hard. So... That will be fun because we will be jumping right back in and then I see him in uh, on week eight. So six weeks to go and then I'm going to come back for another follow up and uh, we'll kind of go from there. So super successful day here in Charleston at the doctor's office. Dr. Cranford's awesome as always. Highly, highly recommend him if you need any type of procedure um, from a plastic surgery standpoint. He has definitely been phenomenal and the staff there is awesome as well. So. Yeah, gonna head and grab some lunch and then make our way back to Myrtle Beach. So, hope you guys are having a fantastic week and we'll talk to you guys soon. See ya. Like, snap my shit. Should we stop? <laughs> <laughs> Should we go? 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 I haven't seen you that happy all day. <laughs> Do we need to not work out? No, we're gonna we'll figure it out. Yeah, just stop making excuses. I've been trying to get you here all day. Shut the fuck up. Alright. Welcome back. What week is it? Six. Welcome to week six of the vlog. Bash Brother edition. It is Bash Brothers. Already We're making back. excuses. Before we even <laughs> this is what I have to deal with all week. Before we even start, it's already like, oh, I'm injured. You just have to push through it. Thanks, Jen. You know? Or we can stop now and go watch The Office. I can't wait to see <laughs> this. And then the end of the workout. <laughs> yeah, right. And see how big dog feels over here. Yeah, right. This is what I'm hanging out with today. These two clowns. I can't work out, but I'm cleared to walk around. So I'm going to hang out with them and film some stuff.
Yeah. Anyways, welcome to week six. Let's get into it. Basically, just squeezing those and trying, like, if you were flexing them for someone. Perfect. How many? This is really light, so you should probably bust out at least 15. They should feel good. Nice and controlled. Those look good. Yep. Yeah, they do. Are you so excited that my thing down? Just absolutely ecstatic. <laughs> Preacher curls for Jesus. Take me to church. I'm the pastor in here for today. Right into it. You're good. That's a, this is the seat for exercise. I love that. Love you. Uh huh. Yep. That's nice right there. Yes, sir. You can go down a little further. Yep. It's farther. Farther? Yeah. You can go down a little farther. Thank you. Yep. No problem. I help you. You help me. That's our friend. I love that. I just. I love that. Yeah, I'll do them a million times. Thank you. Alright, alright. Noise. Oh, I got it. How do I get them back on the thing? Everything's no, you just keep doing it. Everything's just not fit Yeah, you keep going. No, I sneeze. I took it. You don't need to I stop. That's 10. Change. Yeah. You check the tape? Kinda. <laughs> I started while you were still on. See, now you got me worried. There's one thing I don't do, and it's cheat. Did I ever cheat you yesterday? No, I would never. never. That's the update. That's it? Yeah, you just gotta do it. Just do it. Then you'll be glad you did. What do you think, Jess? How do they do? I think you did good. You just gotta do it again. And Every again. day. And again. Every day. Every day. So we're here at the pool getting some sun and here's my tip of the day when 
one of your best friends in town and you go to the pool and he looks like this, I recommend bringing a towel and just laying with the towel just to cover your body. Like just do like a neck, a neck down type deal like this. And then you'll feel, you'll feel really good when you got Fabio over here splashing around like some type of exotic dolphin who's been let out of this cage for the first time and stuck at Free World or something. Just look at him. I'm out here like I'm filming a movie. Oh yeah, walk a little slower. Can I do a little bit slower? That's perfect. Not maybe bring not a sweatshirt. Maybe I should grab a sweatshirt next time for myself. <laughs> Shush it. It's for the vlog. Yeah. A little jet ski, eh? You look good. You look good. We're out here. We got this baby life jacket that doesn't fit me. But we're doing it. Oh, I'm, I'm drifting. I'm drifting. This place is nice. A little afternoon ski for the day. That's all. I need Jeffrey. <laughs> I need, I need Jeffrey. a lot of help because I don't even know how to record this. <laughs> My legs hurt so bad. No, they don't. We just started for two minutes and 12 seconds. Here. After 12 minutes of walking, Mark just keeps pushing it up, pushing it up. That's what we It's do. too easy. <laughs> I'm just not meant for this. Look at me. I'm like a giant Lance Armstrong here. A giant Lance Armstrong. Blood doping and everything. Well, yeah. He wasn't built for it. You know? And I just... I don't necessarily love filming in here. I feel a little weird. It's a, it's a today. Well, it's all right. We just hit... Look at those... <laughs> look at all the skin showing. It looks so good. We just hit a wall. We're going to bike for a couple minutes. Get that sweat going. So only like a couple, like two? We're going to bike for a few, and then we're going to hit a chest workout. We're doing... um. We're doing triple sets today, very minimal rest periods, um, which makes it beneficial for heart, obviously, but losing fat me. and keeping muscle tone up. That's why I do it. The triple sets are nutty, they're good for you. Typically, I'm a big triple set guy too. I do it for cardiovascular endurance and to help my lean body mass, you know, just get absolutely pumped. Look at those veins coming out. You see them? It's just because he's so pale, it's like see through. <laughs> Spent too much time. He lives working. at the beach and he looks like my right butt cheek. <laughs> it's hard out here. I'm already over it. But we're gonna keep going. Oh, 90. We're going. Nice, Jeff. Those are good. See, those are so easy. You should be doing no, it from the ground. No. I'm cramping everywhere. You're not cramping. People want to see it. Look at that. Holy moly. You should just take my spot on the vlog. <laughs> Sorry. I have to vlog. We just did flies. And tell me what. Give me the tip. Any chest exercise that you do at all. If you're really focused on just hitting your chest. One of the main things you should do is keep your scapulas flexed to the back. As you do this, if your scapula stays flexed in the back, it makes it very difficult for you to engage your shoulders, which causes you to use just your chest. So, with my scapulas engaged, just my chest is working. If my scapulas aren't engaged, now my shoulders are flexed as I'm doing this motion. So you want to keep them engaged the entire time through the exercise. Make sense? Yes. Yep. Uh, oh, yeah. 
You ever see those videos like, who does it better? <laughs> no, what are you doing? Don't be afraid of it. I don't want to get don't embarrassed be... by you. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, you do yours. <laughs> do the side. Do you see how mine are just shredded out? Oh, it looks so great. Oh, yeah. Jeez. I never get to see that. Honestly, I could just disappear and just say your name's Jason and you'll win the, <laughs> the competition. <laughs> wow. Excellent. Excellent. See, that's what we do. Jeffrey would be proud. I'm remembering the vlog for this week. So I'm in Charlotte for uh, the Carolina Chaos event, which is tomorrow. And 212 is excited to announce we have our first sponsored athlete. Uh, this is a full paid sponsorship. It's my best friend growing up. His name's Trad Teal. And I'm here dropping him off at a pickleball tournament. He's a big uh, pickleball fan, which I hear is all the rage these days. And I can't wait to go in and see what this is all about. So, a little update for you here tonight and at the event tomorrow. And uh, we'll try to get some documentation, Jeff. That way you don't yell at me anymore for not doing this. All right. Here he is. Go back to the year. Try to peel. Hot and look at him go. Look at the seal. That boy tried. Great shot. Great shot. The aftermath of the tournament. What, what did we get? Bronze. We got a bronze winner right there. Look at that medal. Representing the team well. My man. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video as much as we enjoyed making it. I know there were some pretty funny parts for me, um, but yeah, hopefully it was entertaining for you guys. So as always, if you haven't already, please like this video, please subscribe, hit that notification bell so that you know when we post a video and uh, yeah, share the video with some friends. Hopefully this encourages you. Hopefully, um, you know, brings a little humor to your day and uh, yeah, we had fun with this one. So Shout out to Jason for going hard and putting in the work and uh, to Mark for being a good sport and uh, filming with us. And also shout out to the first ever sponsored athlete, Trad Teal. Way to go ahead and uh, wrangle them in in that pickleball game, buddy. Good job. So anyways, hope you guys have a great week. We'll see you next week with another episode. And uh, yeah, that's all I got. See you guys later. Peace.